Hello everyone, and welcome to a new survival series. So now, not only are we playing on the 1.18 update featuring the larger worlds and bigger caves, but we are also playing with some mods, most notably the Create mods, where I get to showcase my engineering and design skills. So let's get started. Oh, okay. So this is one of the things I have not experimented with. I believe this, so this is just normal snow. This, ah yes, this, oh, help, help, no. <laughs> This is uh, the, the powdered snow, which I don't think I can walk on any of it without having leather boots. I can't even get out of it. Help. So we'll have to come back and see what's on the other side of this area. For now, we, ha we must traverse on where I can actually stand. Wow, look at that. I've never really seen one of these ice spike biomes in person before. This is insane. While visiting this sandy shore, or stony shore, I have spotted a ruined portal over here. Unfortunately, it looks like there's very little obsidian. Oh, that's why, because the top half of the portal has fallen over. But we would still need a pickaxe to in order to restore this portal. However, there's a golden apple and some depth strider golden boots. I guess I'll take those. I look so stylish with golden boots on. But we will return back to our crafting table and furnace. I'm preparing to be able to descend deep within the caves because in order to really get started with create, we need a few things. Obviously, iron will be very useful for just about doing anything, but more specifically, we need to be able to collect zinc and andesite because those are the components needed for the basic andesite alloys that create create machines. So the first monsters are starting to spawn. Luckily, I have an axe to be able to build myself here. However, these golden boots aren't going to last very long. All right, now that we got an iron pickaxe, let's find our way into a cave. Uh-oh, I didn't realize it was this deep. Luckily, it seems I can be able, I, I'm able to dig out of it. Oh, boy. I'm surprised we were able to survive that, that creeper blast. All right, we have to get out of this hole, like now. We can use blocks to be able to place on top of it. Since we can select the, the powdered snow and be able to place a block on it, I can do the, the block jump thing. <laughs> Get back, bitch. There we go. We're, we've still got like 30 seconds of poison, though. Ooh, emeralds. We must be underneath a mountain or a snowy slope. I guess that counts as a mountain for emeralds. At last, now that our little mining adventure is complete and we now have some resources to work with, it is time to begin some engineering. So the first thing we're going to end up making is a small little farm. But first, we got to get some of this or the zinc smelted. All right, now that we've got some zinc ingots, we can throw those in here, make a ton of zinc nuggets. And then if we combine it with some andesite, there we go, some andesite alloy. This is going to be the backbone of our engineering with cre the create mod. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this windmill bearing and some radial chassis. So first we'll need some of these, some shafts, and then we should be able to throw those together with a turntable and a bit of stone to create a windmill bearing. The reason why we need this windmill bearings because one of the fundamental parts of create is being able to have enough rotational energy or kinetic energy to supply your machines so we're going to create a simple windmill to start so we're going to start up with this kind of flagpole looking thing here as our base and next we need to actually go get some wool in order to make some sails now these sails are important because they allow us to catch the wind we're actually able to view a little animation if we hold w like so aha sheep Mine, mine. First, we make these sail frames, which is just a ton of sticks. So sticks, and then we'll grab 16 sail frames. And then what we can do is instead of putting one wool into each frame, we can use this recipe, which allows us to get eight uh, sails from one piece of one piece of wool. So we can just go and attach these onto here. Not like that. Give me that one back, like so. Now we have a windmill. So if I were to right-click the bearing, ta-da! We have created motion, but creating visual windmills isn't the only thing we can do with, with this mod. Today's first episode on Create. I hope you guys enjoyed, and next time we'll be able to attach some unique machines to our windmill here and get some automation going. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.